Hello and welcome to Dotto Tech. I had a blast piecing together today's show because today it's all about useful stuff for Christmas. Not useless stuff, but useful stuff. In fact, the most cool, useful gadgets that we could find. So if you've got a Christmas geek on your list, this is the show for you. We are covering wireless printing, total TV control, and free, or at least cheap, long distance with a twist. So many cool gadgets and so little time. So we will begin here with the Harmony family of remotes from Logitech. Now the idea behind these universal remotes is simplifying our home entertainment setup, which is getting decidedly more complex. You got your TV, your DVD player, your audio amp, your tuner box, your satellite receiver, it goes on and on, and we each have some or all of these devices, and every device comes with its own remote. So you end up with a coffee table in your family room that should more properly be called the repository of the remotes. And if you want to watch a DVD, well, you start the remote juggle. Turning on, finding the appropriate remote, turning on each and every device in proper order, and selecting the appropriate input, pointing and pressing buttons at that imaginary little infrared sensor that only seems to work when you got the remote at the perfect angle to turn it on in the first place. It takes real technical aplomb to achieve the status of on, and often there's only one member in the entire family that has the requisite skills to manage all of the remotes. Well, enter our friends here from Logitech, Harmony Remotes. They are true universal remotes that control all of our components, TV, DVD player, audio system, everything. Plus, you can program them to complete tasks. For example, if you wanted to watch a DVD, well, you hit one button, and it will do all these things. It will power up the TV, it will power up the DVD player, the audio system, and it will switch all the inputs to the appropriate device. So a task that would require juggling several, up to three remotes, say, to do that, well, everything is reduced to the push of a single button that anybody in the family can do. But convenience aside, the real brilliance behind the Harmony series is the software that allows you to program the remote. It's based on either your PC or your Mac. It's actually a web interface, and it's very simple and effective point and click that allows you to program your unit for every piece of entertainment hardware. You connect your remote to your computer by a USB cable, and you're done. You don't gotta fuss around with those programming codes that plague lesser universal remotes. You know, where you press and hold down the button and hit this strange, bizarre nine-digit code and hope that it will now turn on your TV. Let me show you the software, and you can see how it all configures. When we run this Harmony management software, all of our different tasks are clustered. So if we want to watch a DVD, we have all of the different commands here available to us, and we can modify them if we need to. But when you first set it up is really what we will do, what most of us will experience at the beginning, is the initial setup of the Harmony remote. And here we add device by device. We go through our entire AV lineup, and we add all of our devices. And it's a simple process. You simply add your TV add your DVD player. If I was installing for the first time now, I will add my channel decoder, my set-top box. So you go add cable box, go to the next screen. Is it a cable box, satellite, or digital set-top box? Well, I have a digital set-top box. Thank you very much. We go to the next, next screen and it says, oh, which type of set-top box do you have, Steve? And we have a few manufacturers for you to choose from. We have a few. I should say we have a few. We have a few thousand. We're not even through the A's yet. I had no idea there were so many manufacturers of AV devices. So here's my set-top box, Bell Express View. That's probably a satellite box, but we say next, and then you have to enter the model number. Here, it's useful to have an assistant to go behind the set-top box or behind the TV and read out the model number. Once you put the model number in, it's all saved in your account, and then all the appropriate information is downloaded to your remote, and your remote is configured properly for you. Now, let's take a look at the remotes themselves. This is the Logitech 1000, the Harmony 1000, which is the newest of the remotes, and it's got a very creative interface. It's got a touch screen, and again, we see all the commands clustered. So if I want to watch a DVD, I can use the touch screen to just hit watch a DVD, and it will launch all of the appropriate pieces of hardware. It'll start the DVD player, start the TV, switch all the settings, and I've got both soft buttons here, which are touchscreen, and as well, I've got a series of hard buttons over here for doing things like going up and down with my channels and also changing the volume, and if I don't want to use the touchscreen, I can also use these soft buttons. So this is a whole new design 
of remote, of universal remote. And this is a kind of a more traditional look at the universal remote. This is the 720. And instead of having touch screen, it's got soft buttons here along the side, but it's still got a nice color screen and all of the commands are clustered together. But what I want to show you now is how we troubleshoot if we do have a problem. So let's say I want to watch a DVD. So I hit my button here to watch a DVD and everything goes perfectly except for one small thing. The inputs didn't switch properly. Uh-oh, how am I going to fix that? Well, right here at the top, there's a little help button. I press the help button and a wizard walks us through the entire setup. So all we do is answer the question. It said, is the TV on? Yes, the TV's turned on. Is the DVD on? Well, yes, thank you. The DVD is on. Well, what about the DVD? Did it set it to the DVD input? No, it didn't set it to input. So now it'll cycle through the commands until the input is set correctly. We save it. So next time we go to watch a DVD, we hit the one button and everything works perfectly. You might shed a tear. Now, there are several different models in the Harmony family, but regardless of which model you choose, Logitech support is legendary. I got several first-hand reports on how knowledgeable their phone staff is. These remotes are one of those products that have taken a little bit of time to be truly appreciated, but now they are appreciated. One remote to rule them all, one remote to find them, one remote to combine them, and in the entertainment room, bind them. Join the Fellowship of the Remote. All 26 episodes of Dottotech Season 3 are available to borrow at participating libraries. Check our website for details.